ain't gonna give in now. I just gotta live this now. I be gonna be when I'ma kill this stuff real quick. I'ma go take it to town, cause I gotta be that king in the ring when I'm not killing me when I'm back with the real. Cause I am just stuck on the journey. You just know that I'm just going to say. Warriors, rise. You are being lied to, and the middle class is at serious, serious risk. But we can't say we haven't been warned. Jerome Powell has been telling us for two years that he's worried about the middle class getting wiped out, leveraged towards technology. Well, about two years ago, during the C word, as we look this way, and there's a whole other narrative going on this way, I showed you guys exactly what they said, and now the plane has landed. Here we are. The middle class at risk, interest rates skyrocketing, food prices going up, gas prices so high people can't fill up their tanks, and your government is gaslighting the shit out of you. My name is Coach JV. I am the top health, mindset, crypto, and business coach in the world. Remember what you believe in your heart, you think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. And the activities you're experiencing right now are unconscious, deeply rooted subconscious mind programming from things like this that I'm about to show you. As people can't pay for gas, as people can't, normal everyday family cannot buy a home anymore. It, basically, the price doubled to buy a single family home. As rent prices have skyrocketed over 20% in the last two years. As gas prices have gone through the roof and food prices, the normal everyday person is stacking up their credit cards right now. They're in a position where they're not going to be able to survive within the next 12 months. They are pushing us into a controlled, monitored system where the middle class is going to get wiped out. It's going to be very poor working class and very, very wealthy. So which side of the coin do you want to be on? You can't stop the system. You're not going to stop the freight train. But what side of the coin do you want to be on? So follow all the way to the end of this video, and I'll break down exactly what we're doing in our Warrior Academy. All right, let's dive right into it, Warriors. So first, we're going to watch... Um, these interesting videos. So this was on the Daily Wire. This was uh, one of the warriors sent this out to me, July 28, 2022. We're going to listen to the actual gaslighting. So let, let's think about this for just a moment. Okay. Interest rates have skyrocketed. Gas prices are through the roof. We've had two quarters of declining GDP. And from what we're hearing is they're redefining what a recession is. Two quarters of declining GDP equals a recession. But this is what the White House is saying based on two quarters of decline GDP. Check this out. We're, we're seeing what we're seeing is that we are in a transition. We had this strong economic growth because of the of the work that this president had done in the past 18 months. And now what we're seeing is a transition into stable and steady growth. We're I mean, OK, let's just continue on. OK, so that was on the same day, July 28, 2022, on the same day. Here's Janet Yellen repeating, parroting the same exact thing, subconscious mind program. We've entered a new phase in our recovery, focused on achieving steady, stable growth without sacrificing the gains of the last 18 months. We've okay, so they're sharing with you and gaslighting you that the economy is growing, we're having steady growth. And then on July 21st, this was going viral on the internet. It was on uh, Joe Rogan as well where they basically are redefining um, recession, right? They're redefining the word recession. What we've always known is that two declining quarters of GDP, gross domestic product, which is all the products and services in America or in a country, declining, right, things that companies are producing, equals a recession. What is a recession? Well, some maintain that two consecutive quarters of following GDP constitutes a recession. That is neither the official definition nor the way the economists evaluate the state of business cycles. So they're literally changing the definitions to appease their gaslighting. Literally. Well, what's coming up? The elections. Think about that worse. The general elections. Why are they doing this? They don't give a shit about you. But here's what's happening, okay? So I love Stansberry Research, one of my favorite uh, channels here. Now, this guy's name is Greg Man Manarino. Excuse me, Manarino. We're going to watch a little bit of this video. Hopefully, I have it on the right, right timing. But we're going to watch a little bit of this video. Then I'm going to show you Jerome Powell, um, him telling you what's going to happen. And then I'm going to show you the federal debt, okay? Warriors, I'm telling you, I've been telling you this for two years. The middle class is going to get wiped out. 
people, your parents, maybe you're a younger adult and your parents are in the baby boomer age or I'm 46 years old, my late 40s. Your parents that have been working very, very hard for their 401k, uh, working for this pension. Who knows if they're going to be here, Warriors? They're literally doing a great financial reset. So let, let's just hone in on the inflation talk. Is it is it a hoax for you? Is it real? What are your thoughts really on you know inflation over 9%? Is it because we've just manifested it because we've been talking about it for so long? Oh, the inflation's so bad. Oh, prices are so high. I mean, how do you what's your take on inflation specifically? Well, you know, this is a no-brainer here. We've had central banks here for now well over a decade doing nothing but inflate, creating cash out of thin air, buying assets with it. It was only a matter of time here before all of this money creation was going to present the current issues that we have. Uh, it, it's economics one-on-one. It's all of these extra bills existing in either digital or physical form here, finally uh, chasing the same amount of goods. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure this stuff out. Uh, and their own numbers are just all nonsense anyway. I think everyone realizes that, you know, the data is all fake. Uh, there is, you know, it's, it's interesting. We just recently found out, I, I, this is laughable, the, they're saying, oh, what was this last week? I think it was reported that food inflation year over year is just up 10.4%. How many people are paying just 10.4% more for their food? I think it's more like it's over 50, maybe in some cases, 100% more. Absolutely. So it's just more the deception, more the distraction. But this just is so simple to understand. The goal here. Uh, of central banks is is to foster in a new system, period, the end. And how they're doing this is by strangling people to death via um, uh, surging inflation. That's why they're going, they continue to go out of their way to create more of it. Um, and, you know, what, what's going to happen? At one point, people are going to say, I've had enough. What did we also find out recently? 75% of middle income, by their own data, 75% of middle income earners here in the United States, they can't make it anymore. Uh, and, you know, you got a stock market that has been rallying re recently off the continuing bad economic news. It's astonishing to see. Nothing makes sense. If you really sit back and understand what's happening, then it will make sense to you. The system is designed seriously to destroy an entire class of people, create more inflation, push wealth up to the one percenters. And, uh, and, and then a, a new system is going to be in, uh, instituted. Okay. So, I mean, you know, I think we can all agree with that gentleman, right? So dive into that. So it's on Stansbury Research. It's called System Will Wipe Out the Entire Class of the Global Economy. I highly recommend you go check out that gentleman's work and Stansbury Research as well. Now, here's the video I've been showing you for a very, very long time. This is Jerome Powell warning us. He's worried about the middle class. This was back in, let's take a look here. So this video was back in 2021. I think this was one of his like third warnings. Not going back to the same economy. This will be a different economy. And one of the things we hear from, from uh, companies is that they've spent a lot of time since the pandemic arrived looking at ways to have more effective technology and perhaps fewer people. So you're going to see some of that in these public facing jobs. So uh, there will be millions of people who have a hard time finding their way back into the workforce and recovering the lives that they had just a year ago. And, you know, uh, I think it would be appropriate for us to continue to support those people. Um, the recovery, though, here remains uneven and incomplete. The burden is still falling, falling on lower income workers. The unemployment rate in the bottom quartile is still 20 percent. There's still eight and a half million people out of work. Uh, and this this unevenness that we're that we're talking about is a very serious issue. Um, it, uh, vax, viruses are no respecters of borders, and until the world really is vaccinated, uh, we're all going to be at risk of uh, of new mutations. And uh, okay, so that was their agenda back then, right? So we're going to get everybody vaccinated. You know, it was going to be um, destroying everybody through the pandemic, right? So as we all look this way, there was a whole nother narrative going on this way. Sorry, no, you guys can't see me here. As we're looking this way, there's a whole nother narrative going this way. So we shifted, right? So we shifted from this pandemic narrative, lockdown. Then we went into a war narrative, right? Then that was supply chain, um, the SWIFT system, which gives you the excuse to move the economic system. And now, mark my word, you are heading now into a climate change narrative. You're going to see it all over the news. 
We are having climate change problems, carbon. We need to get rid of carbon. We need to go to all electric. We need to get rid of uh, zero. We need to go to zero carbon. Companies are not going to get their um, uh, funding or their, their um, what do you call it, uh, lending unless they're zero carbon or have their carbon credits, right? But here's what's factually happening within, well, who knows if you can believe the news, but I think we can all feel it, right, from a personal level, right? To fill up both my cars is like 240 bucks. I mean, that's a big difference. So if somebody is barely making it and they can barely pay their phone bill, and now their gas price has doubled and their food prices and proteins have almost doubled, right? So think about that. If you're barely making it and now you have to make decisions on, fuck, can I put gas in my car? Can I feed my kids? Well, here's what's happening. Household debt top $16 trillion for the first time fueled by higher inflation and interest rates. Household debt climbed past $16 trillion in the second quarter. Soaring inflation pushes up housing and uh, auto balances. The mortgage balance rose 1.9 for the first for the quarter at 207 billion to about 11.4 trillion. Holy crap. Credit card balances surged 13% over the past year, the largest gain in more than 20 years. 20 years, Warriors. In 1981, we had a big, uh, a big collapse, which is the, the recession, which lasts about two years, right? Think about that. This is where we're at. These are facts, Warriors. This is where we're heading. Okay, you can't stop this freight train. The only way to keep this system going is to keep the debt going. That's it. That's the only way. That's the only way they can keep this, this uh, uh, fraud going is debt. That's it. They just have to keep adding more and more debt to the system. Or you can do a great financial reset and provide massive amounts of liquidity and move money at the speed of light. And you can, that, that's basically the fix, the debt reset, switch the whole system. But, you know, people, some people say, I don't, you know, I'm not going to speak on this or just or what, what, what that means. Of course, they'll take care of themselves. I think everybody thinks all of a sudden they're going to wipe out all of our debt. That'd be great. But it's like, what does that mean? What, at what cost <laughs> do they wipe out your debt? You have to do this to get this, right? So it, it's an interesting dynamic. So you have a choice to either be pushed down to the poor, uh, you know, or to be in the wealthiest. And, and there's an opportunity right now. This is what we're looking at right here. This is the federal debt held by the Federal Reserve's Bank since 1975. 1981, we went through a recession. In 1981, look how low the debt was. We bounced back pretty quickly. I think that was Reagan era, right? And then 2010, that was a financial crisis. Um, that was a crisis of financial 10. Look at since 2000 Bitcoin's inception. I mean, is that by chance that by Bitcoin's inception and cryptocurrency came out or Bitcoin specifically? And now it's going to be uh, regulated as a commodity like uh, with the CFTC. Did they create it? Who knows? Right. So look at this. Look how much debt has been put onto the system now. This is crazy. This is wild. Look at that. 2020 skyrocketed. There is no other way than to pump debt into the system constantly and consistently. So what can you do, right? So what can you do? You need to start up, cut out all frivolous spending orders. I have the five pillars of wealth, which I'll show you just really quickly. So this is the Warrior Academy. I'm going to bring this up at the end of almost every single video now. This is really important. It's time to get in the game, Warriors. It's time to get in the game. This is our own social media platform. We bring people off of the regular social media platform so we can have our own open discussions on here. We have groups so you can get in your vibe, get in your tribe. We have crypto, our 120 challenge, mindset, health and fitness, business affiliates program. We have our courses in here, Coach JV's five pillars of wealth. I break these down for you, okay? Crypto game plan, my precious metals game plan, self-development, business, insurance, pre-IPO. I break it down for you and the resources. We have a bunch of cryptocurrency courses, our 120-day challenge to get your shit together, mindset, subconscious mind programming, goal setting, vision board creation, fitness. We have an affiliates program. We have 167 affiliates right now that are, are um, out there helping build their own business off of our business, earning commissions, money mindset. You can schedule a private consultation with our teams. And then we have other programs that you can jump into as well. Okay. So we have our private network. We have tons of calls and connections. So it's a tribe of people working together with my team, 27 team members. We have community hangouts. We have crypto market updates. We have a generational wealth building call with me where I talk a lot about leadership and mindset. And so you, it's, it's your, it's your one-stop shop for your tribe and your vibe. Then we also have a free resource. This is a paid academy. This is a free resource. Now, remember, this is, I want to be very, very, very clear about this. The Uncommon 1%, which I'm going to put both links down below. This is for business. Okay. This is not for cryptocurrency. This is a free coaching program where I'm teaching people how to build a seven figure company. Chris, who's my business partner and my CFO are teaching people how to build a seven figure company off of social 
media, specifically using TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, uh, things like Twitter as well. So this is the greatest time in human history, Warriors. This is the greatest time in human history to get your shit together. So we'd love to see you on the other side. Do not miss this train, Warriors. Do not miss this train. We know what's coming. We know inflation's here. We know gas prices are skyrocketing. We know food prices are skyrocketing. So cut out frivolous ex expenses. Learn how to build a business. Um, the new education is switching. That's what we're teaching here is course creation taking your powerful knowledge, shortening the timeline to success and building courses, tribes and communities and allowing you to make a living doing that. It's not as difficult as you think, but freedom is not free. It takes hard work, dedication at first to live a free life. Nobody's stopping you from being the greatest of all time. I love you guys. I appreciate you. All of this will be in the first pinned comment down below. Warriors, <clears throat> let's get your shit together. Let's go.